हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास इन दिस मॉड्यूल वंस अगेन वी शैल डिस्कस हाउ अ वर्ब कंकॉर्ड्स विद अ कंपाउंड सब्जेक्ट एंड अ नाउन फ्रेज टीचर्स लेट अस नो दिस when two subjects are joined with the conjunctions as well as and along with the verb will agree with the first subject for example rahul as well as his friends is coming today he along with his parents has visited the taj in agra now here we can see that in the first sentence the verb is concords with the first subject rahul and similarly in the second sentence the verb has also concords with the first subject he on the other hand if two nouns are joined with either or neither nor and or the verb will agree with the second subject or with that noun to which it is closest for example either kavita or her friend speaks the truth either raghav or his friends have taken my pen neither i nor my sister is participating in swimming competition neither he nor his friends are interested in your matter no no or corner was left unexplored now here we can see that the verb concords with the subject that is near to it teachers let us know this fact that if a noun phrase contains either of neither of each everyone or many a the verb must be singular for example either of the applicants is eligible for this job neither of the two men was very strong each of these iron ores is found in india
every one of the pupils was present many a man does not know his own good deeds here we can see that the noun phrase containing either of neither of each of every one of and many a take singular verb let us know this some nouns which are plural in form but singular in meaning take singular verb for example the news is true mathematics is my favorite subject now here we can see that the subjects the news and mathematics are plural in form but singular in meaning so they take singular verb teachers when a plural noun is a proper name of some collective units it must be followed by a singular verb for example the arabian nights is still a grand favorite the united states has a big navy now here we can see that in the first sentence the subject arabian nights is a proper name of a book that contains middle eastern folk tales and similarly in the second sentence the subject the united states is also a proper name of a country that consists of 50 states as they are proper names of some collective units they take singular verbs when a plural noun denotes some specific number or amount considered as a whole the verb must be singular for example 10 km is a long distance 50000 rupees is a big sum now here we can see that the subjects are plural but they express a amount or number in unit so they take a singular verb teachers let us have a look at this fact too when the subject is a noun phrase containing of the verb must agree with the first noun for example the quality of the clothes is not good the results of up board are satisfactory now here we can see that the verbs is and are concord with the first noun the quality and 
the results respectively. Teachers, today we have learnt about the various facts of the verb agreement with a compound subject and noun phrase. We shall continue the class with a new topic in the next module. Thank you.